Hello, everybody. My name is Romain Jourdan. I'm leading the technical evangelist group here at Riverbed. So um, before joining Riverbed here in the HQ, I was in the field working for Riverbed, working with uh, many customers and trying to solve their problem so with our solutions. So one of them uh, was an NGO in Switzerland, and uh, they had 50 sites around the world and um, in very uh, fancy location like Fiji Islands, but also in uh, difficult countries like um, in Africa or even in Washington, D.C., which is quite wild. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, so basically, um, they, they, uh, this NGO is looking after uh, nature, and, uh, and they are measuring the quality of water, um, how many animals do we have for a certain population of animals, and, uh, and they have a, a bunch of scientists out there that are trying to, to grab the data and, uh, and fit that in their application that goes back to the data center in Switzerland. And uh, for one of the sites in, in, um, in, uh, in Africa, they had um, you know, one site in, in the middle of a jungle and they had baboons actually shooing the cables and, uh, and the site uh, went off. So the scientists were not, were not able to, uh, to upload the data back to uh, to the, um, to the data center and they lose a lot of data and uh, interesting data. And then the mission was out because they had no more funding. So the point here is that, um, that uh, performance is critical. And, uh, and, and we believe that, that, uh, that um, in, in this age of uh, everything being digital, performance is <coughs> something critical. And performance doesn't mean only speed. I mean, performance can be everything. And, uh, and we are working with customers and we have a lot of customers. We are very lucky to, um, to have more than 30,000 um, customers around the globe. Where, and, and we are working with them to rethink possible, to rethink um, the way IT is, is built and, and rethink how we can improve things. Because performance is critical and performance means different things for different customers. And our job and, and our mission is to unleash the full potential of our customers by, by um, you know, um, enabling them and, um, and um, making sure that they can uh, uh, fulfill their mission. So for, for one, there would be um, you know, um, how to, um, to, um, to recover from, uh, from a disaster in a site. For, for one other customer, there would be to opening new sites. Uh, for another one, there would be for enhancing the end user experience when they are using their application. So. That's uh, what we mean by performance. <coughs> the problem with performance is that there is a gap. So um, we are, um, every year we are having a survey with our customers, trying to understand what are the top of mind problems and, um, and find eventually some solution for that. So they, they are sharing with us that um, they are experiencing issues when they are trying to, uh, to define new digital services or, or even their, their existing services are you know, sometimes uh, falling apart and they don't know really why. There are also new challenges. And um, I think uh, we will, will all agree here that um, there are more and more expectations on the end user side. I mean, uh, when you are using your iPhone and everything works uh, for your personal apps, when you go in the office and internet is slow or your app is slow, where Whereas at home you have one gig of throughput for internet, you feel frustrated, and and that's what IT is facing every day. Um, end users complaining about bad performance, so so that's that's a problem. And our customers share with us that they are blind spots in their environment, so they don't know exactly what happens when they are um, offering their services. So if it is outside of their boundaries for um, end customers, for example. Uh, they don't. They don't want to wait for a Twitter, uh, uh, you know, a tweet uh, that that would say that uh, your application doesn't work, or or for end users to um, to call the support and uh, and find that uh, there's a problem and, and they don't know where to start. The other problem is that uh, customers are moving to the cloud. Yes, okay, but it makes everything more complex because you have to manage your legacy environment with your data centers and everything and uh, how you can onboard um, and, and leverage uh, all the, the, the new services that you can have on, in, uh, delivered as a SaaS service or hosted uh, on an IAS platform. So that makes a lot of complexity. And, um, and our customers are sharing with us that, that um, they, they need to rethink and, uh, and strategically their, um, their IT. 
So what we want and our mission is, is, is to close the gap, to close the performance gap for our customers. And, and the way we see um, um, how we could do that is by, first of all, getting an understanding of the end user experience end to end. This is why we're measuring everything from the end user point of view, from what's going on on this um, uh, endpoint, all the way up to the application and you know, across the network, of course, but also what's going on here uh, at the application level, so what's going on on the containers, how my Kubernetes OpenShift uh, environment behaves, and, um, and so on and so forth. So being, you know, all my resourcing being um, on-premises or in the cloud. So we need to get this understanding. The second step for us is, uh, is to modernize the uh, IT infrastructure. It's what we are working on, and, and we are uh, working closely with our customers to rethink how IT should look like. And, uh, and our portfolio has been designed to support this mission. So on one hand, we have um, uh, the digital experience management, where we want to measure everything. And the other hand, um, we have tool solutions that will help our customers to improve their IT infrastructure. And our vision, what we really want to, to bring on the market, is to merge those two and, and maximize the digital performance for our customers. So meaning that um, we want to, um, to close the loop between what we are measuring on the different aspects of the, of the network. So either uh, on the end user, we say, OK, that's happening for this population of customers. And, and we want to, uh, to improve uh, uh, the, the behavior of the network. Or, or, um, or um, we want to deliver application in a certain way to those customers. So we need to loop to close the loop between um, between uh, what we are seeing on the on the application side, on the end user, or on the network, and what's going on on the IT infrastructure. So our our um, portfolio has been designed to support that, and this is where uh, we have different products. So um, I know, we, Peter, uh, you said that uh, on our website, there are a bunch of different products. Indeed, we have different products. And all serve this mission of uh, you know, supporting digital experience for our customers. So for example, here, Edge Computing, this is the, a product that we call Steve Fusion, is able to run application locally. So uh, because we are um, hosting a, a VMware environment, and we have an intelligent way of delivering the data and consolidating the data back to the, to the data center. So that makes um, the, the management of application running at the branch very efficient. SDLAN, um, so we acquired a, a company called Xerus two years ago. Um, we are, um, and we won't talk about this today in details, but, uh, but um, we are uh, offering a high density a Wi-Fi and a, and a new generation of switches coming up very soon. Uh, for, for our customers. So uh, we provide a, um, a consistent experience across all sites when users want to connect to the network. One acceleration, we are very well known for that. Um, the goal for one of one acceleration is really to make application faster across the WAN. That's the main goal. And even when we have a lot of latency, that's what um, the, the solution is providing. SD1, we will discuss that more in details today, but really the goal is to provide connectivity from the users to the application because the goal of the network is eventually for users to com consume application and have access to those applications. And finally, digital experience management, where we have a set of solutions here to, to understand what's going on on the network, what's going on on the end user experience, what, what's going on on the on, on, uh, on the, uh, the, the end device or the application itself. So here are a few examples. So this is Eternity. Eternity is our tool for measuring the end user experience. So it's an agent that you would deploy on, a, on your laptop, being a Mac or, or a Windows machine. You can also uh, wrap your mobile apps uh, with, uh, with our toolkit so we can measure the performance of what's going on. So you will have a good understanding of all the applications that are um, you know, um, deployed on your environment. So it helps also for tracking the licenses, but also for detecting uh, shadow IT. So for example, if uh, a few users are using Box, for example, and uh, whereas uh, your uh, corporate solution is uh, OneDrive, you probably want to understand why 
why is what's going on and why are we spending money with Box, and st whereas we have a solution, a corporate solution. And, and of course, there's probably a privacy problem here. So with Eternity, you can uh, detect, uh, the, you can measure and, and do a baselining of uh, the performance for, for your application. So before migrating to, um, to Office 55, for example, you, you want to measure the, the end user experience with your existing environment. And you have a baseline when you have moved, when you did the migration, you know exactly where you were at. And if users are complaining because there was a change, you can say, oh, yes, there was a change, but the end user experience is better. So the problem is elsewhere. And finally, um, you, you want to assess how applications are, are used. Those are examples. Another example could be the use of, uh, for Skype for Business. So when customers are moving to Skype for Business, it's not traditional VoIP anymore. And, uh, and you want to understand what's going on. You can, you can uh, you know, measure the, the quality of the calls, how many calls we have, the volume of them. And, uh, and if there is a problem, you want to isolate the problem and identify very quickly whether it's a networking issue, whether it's an end device issue, maybe it's a problem with Microsoft, or it's the driver on that particular machine with your headset. So eternity will help you with that. Another example here, and that's a, a, um, a new um, capability that we have just released and uh, announced uh, for, um, for measuring the, uh, the, uh, the uh, experience on the, on the network uh, in the cloud. So we had a, a product line, we have a product line, the central, which is uh, measuring um, um, and collecting flows and packets on enterprise networks. And we have extended that capability uh, to the cloud with uh, AWS, so we can uh, we can measure uh, we can um, collect VPC flows. We can also collect from different equipment like uh, Ixia, like uh, Gigaman View, like uh, like um, Big Switch, and collect everything. So we have an understanding of how, uh, how the instances within a, a particular VPC or between regions or between AZ are communicating, and uh, and eventually translate that in how much money I would, I would spend in terms of uh, traffic that would, go, that would go out from my VPC. So does that require um, an agent on a, a machine instance, or are you using the cloud vendor's flows? So it's a mix of them. Um, so we have, we have, um, we have um, an agent that is um, able to measure that you, you would install on, uh, on the EC2 instance that would give you all the, um, the visibility in terms of application, uh, so being able to drill down uh, down to the code. So if it is Java, or .NET, or Node.js, for example, we can go, go down to stack and measure also everything in the network. If we are just interested in a network, we can we have the license for the networking, or we can rely on the VPC flows for from AWS or other third-party vendors. So we have a variety of solutions here to uh, to collect the flows uh, from uh, in, in a particular VPC. And to emphasize kind of a point that might have snuck by there was the Eternity product runs an agent on potentially every user. That's correct. So it's sort of crowdsourcing big data and yeah. gives you the ability to spot things like behavioral changes for sites or regions. Exactly, exactly. So the, the, um, earlier um, I presented that we are measuring everything in HD. What, what does it mean? It means that we have at least one, one second granularity and we keep everything. So we, we, we have a big data approach. We don't do any samples. We collect everything and this is why we are able to, uh, to, uh, to merge all the data and, uh, and do some analytics on top to, uh, to measure what's going on. So indeed, as you said, if there is a population here, a population of, of people, of um, uh, employees that are experiencing bad performance, you can correlate what's going on. Are they, have, uh, do they have a specific driver on, the, on their laptop that uh, is causing the issue? Or, or is it the network? Because we can identify whether it's in the network. And if that's in the network, then you probably want to go down to the packets, the flows, to identify what's going on. Do you have a, a, you know, a, a bottleneck on your, or you are using too much bandwidth, or it's latency, or you have packet drops, so you can really go down. And to some extent, it's flipping. Seems like it's flipping the model of we used to do application performance monitoring, 
with a by snooping on packets in the data center, and That's then right. as the data center got expanded, that got more expensive and harder. And now you've gone to the other end. You're not going to see server-to-server -server flows, I suspect. But so, uh, with, with this product, yes, um, that's that's the product that's the, the central NPM suite that uh, is collecting flows and uh, and uh, packets from your enterprise network. So you will be able to collect from the edge of the network and in the data center and 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 merge your metrics from a packet point of view and flow point of view. But uh, but indeed, uh, if we are outside of the boundaries of the network. Uh, of, of what you man manage, an, alternative, an agent based approach would help you to understand what's going on outside your network. But if, even for, um, for doing the, um, the quick classification or you know, let's say um, uh, identify what could be the root cause, you can very quickly from the end user point of view identify whether it's uh, a workstation issue or it's a um, server issue or it's a networking issue. And then it guides you towards your, you know, your troubleshooting. So, again, performance is critical in the digital era, and and we believe there's an opportunity to rethink, and and um, and um, and we believe that um, we should focus first on the end user, and then rethink your infrastructure. 